I just wanted to share another project with you. Um, this is a memory box from HomeSense. Um, just has a Paris theme to it. And inside, I've decorated the inside just a little bit with some flowers and a feather, some pearl pips, and a little butterfly in there. Really nice. You can see it. And inside is an album. Now, we're, my mom and I are working on this for my cousin for a trip that she had to Paris and a couple other places. So, kind of going with the Paris theme. So we just have a little Eiffel Tower here. I also have a, um, a little charm that says passion on it. And then I took one of the Tim Holtz flowers and put a circle on the back with an S because her name is also Sarah. So my first page here is actually the cover uh, but it's also a page. I'll just see if I can give you a close-up here. There's a, another Tim Holtz flower and these are some just some little um, paper roses and then with some bling on it. And the first page here actually flips up. And this is with the lost and found paper from, um, um, sorry I can't remember the brand, but it's lost and found. And this here is actually a die cut um, that I cut out from my Cricut and I folded in half to use for the binding. Now each of these pages is a standard envelope and then inside is a big tag oh, sorry that she can put pictures and journaling so she'll have lots and lots of room and I just did some stamping and this is um, um, a stamping up finding and inside I did some crystal lacquer over top of a stamped image. Now there is a little page in here that I did with the page protectors or sorry an overhead sheet that I stamped I cut out on the Cricut. The next page just basic giving her some room to put her pictures and again there's a big tag inside of the whole thing. The next one is actually a pocket page and inside we have one of the Tim Holtz tags and this is just a die cut that I had lying around and then this is more tags that I cut out with my Cricut and have a paper flower that I sprayed on there and then she can just put pictures and stuff and again this is all the pocket all the way across this one just has the uh, Tim Holtz flower now these two are just mirror images of each other. The top is a pocket, so there's just a pocket in here to put tags into. I did this with my Cricut just to make it look like a little purse. Thought it would be cute. And then these pages flip up. So there's more space to put more pages. And then of course the tag comes out of here also. So again, same thing. And then this was just a stamp that my mom had and I made it so that you can pull it apart so you can put stuff on the inside. And there's two of those in there. So again, pocket flips up for more space for photos and journaling. This is another just basic one and we did the paper flower with some rhinestones and some trim with leaves on it. And this one I just added one of the Martha Stewart butterfly punches and just some studs on the end. And then these two again mirror image. And on this one um, there is a flip but it's just a flip but the trim you can with the crocheted ribbon around you can stick your tags into it. Just another Tim Holtz tag with the flower on it. And these are ones that I um, stamped and colored. And another one, the butterflies. Again, flips down, gives her lots of room. Just 
a plain one for pictures. And this is another one of the pocket ones done with the trim. And there's one of the tags that I made with my Cricut. And a couple more tags that I stamped and colored. These are the uh, manila tags, so they're like a beige color to begin with. And I use the distract Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Another plain page. And this one I actually took um, a chipboard piece from a different album and just cut off the end so that I could bind it with it. And then there's just a, um, a die cut of a clock with some flowers. And then she can put some more stuff on it. Another plain one to give her more space. Now these two, each of the corners has a, um, a little spot that you can stick a tag into. This one I did with the Tim Holtz embossing. I don't know if you can see it there. And did some inking on it. And then, uh, are we there yet? It's in the corner. So that just sticks up into there. And then of course she just lots more room to put pictures. And on this side, same thing. The little corner tag. And then I did a tag in the Cricut. But the special part about these two pages is that they also flip. So this one flips down. You get a nice big piece of them uh, um, lost and found paper in there. And this one flips up. It's got a banner on it there. Really cute. And they're all glittery too. And the last two pages I just kept pretty plain so that she can put more pictures in. And the back is another one of those border pieces. Um, I did a little tag lift it up so that you can put something on that says one of a kind, that's just stamping up one and another paper flower that's been um, inked and sprayed and squished and I did it all with my bind it all of course there's the little charms and everything and it fits right back into our little box so that she can keep it as a keepsake forever alright Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.